So today's day four. I took out the paddings from under. I took these out. These were under here. Oh, because I talked to my nurse and she said I can put a wife beater instead now. Like cotton. So these are new and they do feel a lot better. So I put this under. I have a sports bra, this. And then I tighten this up. I'm really swollen. Let's see if I can show you. Let's see, hold up. This is gonna take a while to go down. It's crazy, but and it's super hard. It's kind of scary. But yeah, that's my little update. I got sick like yesterday, so I've been so out of it. I'm just probably gonna go back to sleep. I'll record more tomorrow. I haven't really been. Well, just eating soups and stuff. But yeah, you can kind of see my hips a little bit. But I feel way better. Okay, so today's day five. I was able to get up and eat a full meal today, and I had a bowel movement movement today, so that was good. Okay, so before I leave to my appointment, this is what my faja looks like. Um, this doctor uses this kind of faja. Um, I didn't realize until I woke up from surgery, but a lot of videos I saw doctors using the full size faja, but that kind of squeezes your butt, and you're not supposed to have your butt squeezed for no pressure on your butt. So this is what it looks like on. You can see like it's just tightening and shaping me. I'm really hoping that as the swelling goes down that my stomach just tightens and my waist gets smaller. Um, but I'm really happy with my results so far. I would not be able to do this just by going to the gym and dieting. Like, I would really have to, like, be at the gym 24-7, not have a life. Um, and I have a kid, so once you have a kid, your skin changes. So I'm really loving my A lot of girls, like, after three months, they get really, like, tight and, like, they start healing way better. So I'm really excited to see what I look like in three months. I also am going to, you know, start working out, get back to the gym, and really just be on my diet. I already know what tacos taste like. I already know what pizza tastes like. I already know what pasta tastes like. And it got me nothing but fat and unhappy with my body. So, nothing but veggies and healthy food from now on. Of course, I can have a cheat day here and there, but nothing crazy. And, you know, being Mexican's hard because we like tortillas we like beans well beans are good for you but we like like all that bad meat so i'm gonna really like really 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 try remember if you're getting a bbl you need to be drinking your protein shakes the premier ones are the best my doctor recommended them and just be on your medicines i'll be posting more as time goes by and if anything updates okay so if you're gonna get a bbl i'm sure you know you cannot sit on your butt and after the second day, it hurts laying on your stomach. It hurts your neck, it hurts your shoulders, your knees. So this is a really good idea. They're kind of pricey. These are 75 each, but if you already have some or you can get cheaper ones, then go for it. It's like a medium size. And I lay my back right here. My butt hangs off right here. And then my legs go hanging right here. So I try not to lay like this for too long. But it helps, at least, an hour a day. And then as I'm getting better and better, I'm going to lay on it more. Because it's six weeks that you cannot lay down. Your legs are hanging out over there. And then your butt is hanging on the bottom right here. It's not even touching.
So yeah. Okay, so this is how it's looking. And I'm loving it. I haven't been this skinny in so long. So I'm really happy. So yeah, I gotta put my faja back on now. But I just wanted to show a little bit of my results. Let's see, you can see my hips. So yeah. Got my notebooks, got my water. I feel fine going down the stairs. I remember surgery day coming up was a bitch. It's raining. This is what I'm wearing. Something comfy. I feel so comfy. I'm so happy to be outside of the pad right now. Like, I was so annoyed laying in there. It's honestly so boring. <sighs> but it's gonna be all worth it this summer. Summertime, I'm ready for you. I'm eating standing up. Water. So I just came back from the doctor and he said everything looks good and to go back in three weeks. And in three weeks we're gonna take our before and after pictures. So I can't post them yet, but I will in three weeks. And then you guys are gonna see the big results. I'm excited. So yeah, my diet starts today. No fucking around anymore. I'm having a salad with no dairy in it. Chicken. Seven, and I'm officially off my pain meds, so I'm excited about that. I'm taking this ZZZ Night Quill to knock out since I'm not on pain meds anymore. So hopefully, I have a really good night tonight of sleep. It's been on and off waking up in the middle of the night so i'm about to take this and i'll let you guys know if it works so this is the medicine they also have it in um gummy form and the gummy form has like no drugs in it i believe this one kind of does but when i went to the store they didn't have any more of the gummy so this is the first time i'm trying this one and I'm excited because I usually have a hard time falling asleep. So I'll let you guys know how this one works. And if it's worth it, I'm going to buy a bigger bottle. It's been a roller coaster. I feel way better, but just not being able to sleep at night um, sucks. And then I just used the restroom and I think I started my menstrual period. So I'm so annoyed with that. Ugh, how annoying can that get? So I'm really just over being in bed, same position, um, with pain because of the way I'm laying. If I'm standing, I don't feel as much pain. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm able to walk around and do things fine. After like the fourth day, I was able to like bend down. Let's see, I can bend down. And, um, a little more without being in pain so what i'm gonna do since i'm bored i'm gonna take this advantage since i don't have nothing to do and i'm gonna um clean out all my kitchen cabinets um throw out everything that's old wipe everything down organize my whole kitchen obviously i just need to be really careful but i can do it and so then yeah. once i get my license i can go back to work and everything just everything can just flow from there you know summertime's coming in and i won't be in a fa like in a faha healing so like i said before i would really suggest you um getting this surgery in the winter so yeah i'll make more videos for sure if you guys have any questions just go ahead and ask 
I know there's different ways to make other detox waters. You can just look them up. But this is my favorite and it's so easy. So yeah, I'm just going to be drinking this. And then I also have gallons of water that I'm just drinking throughout the day to really flush out my system. Since I got lipo and I want to drain everything out. So yeah, you should really try it.